Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. Today, we're going to do a quick review of the Sativian ST141. Would you look at it? Just look at it. We've had some uh, more pricey knives on the channel lately, so you know what that means. It's time for a knife that costs less than 30 bucks, and that's what this one is. These come in black, blue, or JG10, so you can dye in whatever color you want. It does not have a reversible pocket clip. However, the pocket clip is inset into the liner, so it does not grab your pocket on in and out. Super easy to carry. Doesn't take up a lot of real estate, although it is kind of a larger EDC knife but definitely a great gift knife, and we're gonna get in here, check it out, take it apart, and then I'll let you know what I think about it. Now, giving you a quick look from one side down to the other because I'm so good at forgetting. Now, it has like a double lanyard hole. I think that just kind of adds to the aesthetic. It kind of goes with uh, the whole look they have going on in the blade here. It does look very nice, very, very nice. And it has this coated section, which if you look, the top of the blade is coated black, and it does give it a very unique look. I like these liners. The liners look very, very nice. And they look, ooh, they're so shiny. And we're going to see what kind of uh, bearings we have in the pivot here in just a minute. Big old heavy-duty stop pin, and it does have jimping. My only uh, little, uh, what do you call it, nitpick is... I wish there was one more jimp right up here. I don't know why they don't put one just a little bit further. It still works. It still grabs the skin, but it would be that much better if there was just one more up there. All right, you ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I got to tell you, and you know what? If, if you're watching this close to the time that this video released, I just looked them up, and on Amazon, they're 20% off. These are running around 25 bucks or so. So, I mean, for $25, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's this side, and there's this side, and you can see it's the ST141 D2 blade steel, and while we're up here, look at this. Look at that. That is some of the cleanest looking finish I have seen in a while. This is this reminds me, just the look of it, reminds me of how 14C28 often looks. Look how clean. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine if someone unwrapped this as a gift and... The action, I can tell you, I did not oil this. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't taken it apart. And the action is fall shut. Sativian never ceases to amaze me. They even get better and better. It is absolutely solid. I'm getting no wobble. There is no wobble either direction. And it is centered. There, you know, I mean, there you go. Look at that. It has a nice strong tip. It's centered. The lockup's right where you want it, right in the middle. I'm going to do a quick size comparison for you. First, this comes in at about 4.8 ounces. Your total length's 8.25 inches. Your blade length's 3.5 inches. Your blade stock's 138 thousandths of an inch. Behind the edge, you're about 18 thousandths of an inch. And first up, you know what we, you already know. It's the QSP Penguin, baby. Everybody's got to have a penguin, right? And the Savivi Elementum. There you go. It's bigger than these bad boys moving right along how about the kaiser bed glider a lot of kaiser bed glider fans out there so you know uh, you know yeah yeah it's it's thicker it's thicker <laughs> you wish and here is the savivi brazen yeah look at that okay now you see you see what we're stepping in or no is that is that you smell <laughs> it's you smell what we're stepping in <laughs> that's not even the saying i was thinking all right <laughs> Here's, here's the Sin Cut Crowley, and how about the Petrified Fish PF949? Ooh, yeah, it's a pokey one. It's pokey. Let me get these down here where you can see them. Look at that. All right. So now you can see we're full size, and it, it has a full grip. I'm going to show you the ergos here in just a second before we take it apart. This is the Sativian ST131. Speaking of Sativian, I know these are less than 30 bucks, as far as I can, far as I can recollect. And here's the Sativian ST132. Yeah, they've come out with some nice micarta. And you can see, I mean, if you have seen any of my videos on Sativian, you know they have great edges out of the box. They have great action. And they are listening to the consumer. They're making improvements, cool little things. But anyway, back to the knife at hand. Let's zoom out and get to the action and the ergos. The action on this bad boy is superb. This, the first time I used it, it literally did that. It shuts on its own. It is fall shut action. Acid? It's fall shut acid. Uh, action. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're, it gets past a bit, a bit. It gets past the detent. Pretty early, relatively early. Once you're there, it just falls shut on its own. It snaps, and you can also light switch it. It's very easy. It has a very good detent. And look at this. You didn't think we could reverse flick it, did you? Yeah, 
there's enough room to get your finger in there. All you have to do is put your finger down here behind it and flick. You got to flick it. And speaking of which, you can also do the flick your bick. This is a very fidgetable knife. The pass-through is absolute money. Super comfortable. I don't have to dig my finger. It's very easy to get in, get in there. Get in and get out. And look at that. That that is that is some great action. And as far as ergos, my hand's four inches, three and a half inches. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And this is what it looks like. That's just lightly holding it. Super comfortable. If you, I have a, I have a large width hand. If you have extra, extra large, you're gonna have plenty of room. And gripping it, doing the old B squeeze, no hot spots at all. Super comfortable knife. I mean, this is a great, great solid work knife for less than thirty bucks. I mean, you, you can't, you can't beat it with a stick. I mean, you could, but why would you? But actually, if you did beat it with a stick, I mean, what, what, what's it gonna hurt, right? <laughs> But it, it is very easy to use. It's easy to use right-handed or left-handed. It just I wouldn't carry it in my left pocket just because you always want the blade facing in into the seam of your uh, pants. That way, there's never any accidents. You don't want to have it open in your in your pants, and then the blade's out here, and your hand goes in there. And yeah, we don't want to go there. But in the classical grip like this, it's comfortable. I can feel the pocket clip. It's not hateful. Uh, may, if my hand was bigger, no, actually. That, I mean, it just it makes itself known, but it does not bite me. I could just tell it's there. But if I'm choked up on a full hammer grip like this, it's very, very comfortable. I don't have any issues at all. And if you're going to reverse flip, reverse, <laughs> reverse, reverse, if you're going to open bags of stuff or do you poke in some stuff, poke in some holes in boxes or something, it's very comfortable to grip both directions. All right, you know what? Let's take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside and see if we need to clean it. All right, let's get in here and see what this bad boy looks like. And I definitely recommend you get you a good bit set. I mean, this one is a, I, I like it. I definitely recommend it. The back spins. It has all the bits you need and they are Weeha bits, which is very nice, very, very nice. It's a great starter set. You should probably have two. So the other set that I always recommend and I haven't said anything about it in a long time is the Weeha bit set that comes with this. That way you'll have two you'll have two sets and two bit drivers just to start out and you know you don't it's not anything fancy but these are good these are good bits to start out with and you know you don't have to start out with something super fancy this right here this came from get good screw and this was a gift to me and i will always keep this bad boy but as as i digress let's see let's see if we can go from the clip side there we go oh yeah okay <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure there for a second and it does have uh, quite a bit of uh, thread locker on there. And it's T8, and the rest of these these body screws are T6s. Okay, that one came out well, which is very nice. Oh, the other side is spinning on me. So I'm going to put my finger on the other. Oh, look at that. The other side is coming out. <laughs> All right, that, that's just super, just super. Well, we'll, see how that, we'll see how that pans out. Okay, this one I put my finger on this side so it would come out the side I wanted it to. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, oh, that's not going to come out until I take out the pocket clip. Um, don't forget Friday nights. If you're new to the channel, Bees Blades live at the hive, come hang out with us. And you know what? Uh, a lot of you, uh, are going to miss the, the live stream that we have every Friday night because you didn't hit the subscribe button or next to it, there's a bell. And if you don't hit that bell and hit yes for notifications or hit all, you won't know when the live stream's happening. Because that's what that's how you know it'll tell you half an hour before the live stream starts. So um, I wouldn't say that it's clean at all. I do have some 91% uh, rubbing alcohol, and I'm just gonna wipe this off and make it look all shiny. So if you got it gritty, you can, oh uh, yeah, look at that. We do have a D shape. It's not a sharp D, but we definitely have a D shape pivot. So look at that. Less than 30 bucks D shape pivot. And here is your pivot and the bearings. And look at that. It's missing a bearing. These are not ceramic. These are stainless steel bearings. And we have one missing. Not that I could tell. So it looks like one bearing gone isn't making a difference. That is the first time I've ever had a knife with a bearing missing. Very, very interesting. So eh, there's not a whole lot of schmutz on there. It's relatively clean. There's your detent ball, and we're going to put a drop of KPL. Knife Pivot Lube, I have heavy, I have original, and I also have 10% discount. Um, I will, links to all the knives you see in my videos and the, the maintenance equipment and all the stuff that I use, I put links down in the description. Um, I'm not sure if I have a link to getgoodscrew.com, but, well, there you go. <laughs> but I'm going to put that on there, and then I'm going to get 
a little bit of KPL original and put on a doodad. And these doodads, you could get a ton of these for really cheap. And I have I have a link down in the description where you can get that too. I have affiliate links, a bunch of 10% discount codes. I have 15% discount codes. Um, I'm very fortunate to have acquired discount codes over, over time. But I do find it very interesting, very, very interesting that... Yeah, there's definitely some schmutchage, schmutchage, schmutchage. <laughs> there's a little bit of schmutchage going on. Look at that. Easy, nice, nice and clean now. And I'm going to clean this pivot, this bad boy, nice and clean. And there you go. Look at that. D-shaped, baby. D-shaped pivot on, I mean, there, there are so many knives out there, even expensive ones. And I'm pointing the D that direction because that's which direction it is right here. So it'll line up easy for me. But there's so many knives out there, even more expensive ones, that don't even have a D-shaped pivot. And I'm like, why can't you do that when the budget knife companies can do it? And we'll take an up-close look here at this anomaly. Very first one, and I've disassembled hundreds of knives. Look at that. It's missing. You sure as heck couldn't tell because this bad boy drops on a dime. So I'm just going to put a little bit of KPL right on there. I like using the doodads. It's, uh, I, I tend to use less because I'm heavy handed. I'm one of those guys that can't open a bag of chips without sending chips flying across the room or ripping the bag in half. I just, I, I, well, that's probably why I use a knife for everything. <laughs> and when I don't use a knife, I, I'm quickly reminded, my wife is quickly reminded of, I don't know, I, I'm a Neanderthal. <laughs> and here, this is your backspace. The reason this is swinging around is because that guy is over there and that's what's going to hold this in place into that hole. Let me wipe this guy off. And then we'll see if everything goes back in the hole that it's supposed to, <laughs> that it's supposed to go in. All right, here we go. So uh, let's see, where's the, where's the flat spot? There we go. And yeah, that's very slickery. That, that uh, oil does the trick. So there's your knife. Here's, our, here's all of our, our stuff. So you can see it's really easy to take apart. That was not difficult at, at all. I'm going to put my little dude on there. Put just a little bit of KPL on it. Um, you know, this, this thing was pretty, pretty smooth. And if, if it, I don't even know how it could be more drop shetty than it was already. Just right out of the, right out of the box. And this is after, you know, me carrying it. It had a light amount of pocket lint in it, which wasn't too bad. Okay. All right. So let's put everything back where it's going to go. And you can see it's milled out very well. And are we going to go back where we belong? Get in your home. It's your home. And let's see. Let me get this pivot lined up. And just to turn it, I'm going to go like this until it turns and gets to the spot it's supposed to be. And where's your home? There it is. See there? Popped right in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See there? Very nice. Very, very nice. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know I'm having a fantastic day. And make sure you comment in the description. Not in the... I mean... <laughs> I always say that. Make a comment. Let me know how you're feeling, how your day's going. Say hello to everybody. It's it's a community. This whole thing is a community. We have fun. We see how everyone's doing. The live streams are a blast. Not if you know, in between live streams, we have the comments. Where that's one place you can say hi to people. We talk about knives in the comments too. And if you have a question about this knife or any other knife or not, oh look at that. <laughs> See, you wanted me to goof, I goofed. I just started talking, and we're just putting screws and holes, and, oh, jeez, oh, geez, look at this. Let me take this out real quick. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's not a first. Uh, I went ahead and put it back in real quick off camera, just to save a little bit of timeage, but uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, th there you go. For all of you that may have caught it, I don't know if that's something you could see on camera or not but that was that was pretty fun that was definitely fun i mean there's been far worse mishaps mishaps if you want to see oh wrong one um if you want to see some uh some funny stuff go go i have a playlist of knife disassemblies and you can go watch my knife disassemblies and every once in a while there is a doozy and i mean a doozy of a goof when I'm putting knives back together and taking them apart and all that fun stuff. And can I get this dude in here without the pocket clip being removed? Yes, I can. Very, 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 very nice. And get you tightened down. All right. So those guys are in. 
We just need to put this dude in, and we are back together and rocking and rolling. And then we'll uh, wrap this up and do a final thoughts. How about that? You ready? And we are tightened up. Let's see how our action, um, are we solid? Almost. I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, wow, that is rock solid. I think I tightened it too much. <laughs> yeah, I did. Let's loosen it up just a little bit. Are we centered? Uh, yes, we're centered and still rock solid. Oh yeah, there's that action. Okay, big screen. Sativian ST141, is it worth the money? Uh, absolutely, it's worth every penny. Look at that, for what you get. And despite the fact we're missing one ball in the ball bearings, which I have never seen or heard of before, but I'm sure, you know, let me know. Has it ever happened to you? Have you ever seen one of those? It is making absolutely no difference at all. This thing is as smooth as butter. Let me know what y'all think about it. I think it's a really great price. I think it's a good deal, but you know what? Go watch that video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until next time, when I see you in the chat or the comments or the high stream, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. It'll cut yourself.